And hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, Play Fast Football. All right, today we're going to take uh, a look at play action protections. I'm going to give you two ideas on, on protections you can use in play action, uh, why we use the one that we use, what we're trying to do, uh, what we like and, and maybe don't like about it, where the issues are, and then another one you can use kind of built in off your drop back protection uh, that you can use if you want to get the backs maybe more involved in the route or to give yourself an opportunity to have check downs. Make sure you check out some of our sponsors. Game Strat is our sideline replay system. If you're looking for number one, most reliable, most affordable sideline replay system on the market with great customer service, check out Game Strat. In the description box below, there'll be a link uh, to Game Strat's website. Um, Max One, which is it's, uh, an app that allows a head coach to streamline all of his organization communication and then workouts or practice plans or calendars or scheduling into uh, into one app where you can communicate with your team. You can set up your schedule or your calendar for workouts or for practices, and then you can organize everything and have it done in one setting to where you can then reach out to kids um, and and make sure that they understand when there's going to be changes, time changes, weather changes, site changes, practices inside, not outside, whatever you may, uh, whatever you may need to do. Max One gives you that streamlined organization, so make sure you check out uh, Max One as one of our sponsors here at PlayFest. So we're going to take a look at uh, play action protections and, and, again, the two different ones that you can use. I'm going to talk about the one that we use first. So for us, uh, we use a seven-man full slide protection, and um, we do it out of two backs and three backs the most. It's most effective for us. Uh, it gives us a, a full gap out scheme where we're trying not to throw the ball hot off a of linebacker blitzes. We're trying to protect against at least seven coming. Um, it looks similar to our gap schemes if we do it right with our offensive linemen. So when we aggressively step hard down inside with the fullback off the edge uh, without using a puller, it looks like our power scheme or our duo scheme without a puller. All right, so we, we like it because it kind of marries when we do it right to our, our run game demeanor, and it makes it look like a gap scheme. That five technique hopefully tries to play that as, as a wrong arm scenario, coming off that hard and down block, V release from the tackle, and then the fullback coming right at him. All right, so it gives us a seven-man protection because for us, for me at least, this is just me philosophically, when I throw a play-action pass, I want to try and throw the ball down the field. So we're going to have routes drawn up here. I've got double posts drawn up with a climb route on the backside. When I throw play-action, I'm doing it because I want the quarterback upright, on his feet, taking shots down the field. We build our play-actions in as a way that we can take our one shot a quarter or whatever your philosophy is as far as your deep balls, trying to stretch the defense, one shot a quarter, two shots a quarter, you know, whatever your theory may be, we do it so that hopefully we can stay upright and throw the ball down the field. So that's why we are going to use a full gapped out seven man protection. Now it marries into our run game, marries into our, our gap schemes. If uh, our offensive line use the right demeanor and know how to aggressively set that inside gap or that away gap, full back off the edge, tail back off the edge, try to hide the ball with the quarterback, all right, behind the line of scrimmage. If a back is going flat across his face, try to get that ball hidden, tucked away where nobody can see it, but at the same time, trying to make sure that our ball handling skills are good so we don't have a ball on the ground. All right, so we'd like to hide that ball as, as best as we possibly can. A little bit easier if you're in a pistol or if you're under center and you have a, a, a play fake where you, can, uh, where you can turn your back a little bit. A little bit easier to do that. But if you notice in the NFL sometimes, uh, on their play action schemes, their quarterbacks actually extend the ball, and they want it shown. They want the ball shown as opposed to hiding the football. All right, a little bit different theory. They want it extended and shown to make it look like run, and then it's pulled back late. All right, but that's something that I think you've got to make sure that your kids, you have a quarterback that has hands big enough to do that. I'm not a big fan of our quarterbacks with one hand on the ball, extending it, and then pulling it back. But it's a little bit different in theory than trying to kind of hide and disguise where the football is in your, in your play-action game. It's actually showing those linebackers and, and people the football to say, hey, here's our inside run or here's our stretch run, here's the football, and then it's pulled back to take away so it looks like, all right, the same way they stretch from under center, the same way they reach stretch, and now they're reaching deep to give a handoff to somebody. It's the same action in their play action game. For us in the shotgun, it's more about kind of while we're facing the target or the defense all the time and the back coming across our face, it's more about hiding that football and, and, and getting running backs to understand how to roll over the fake to make it look like they have it. All right, And for us, it's a seven-man protection trying to throw the ball down the field. The other reason I like seven-man stuff is because it marries into our, our three-back. When we go into three-back sets, it marries into what we're trying to do. And now we can keep the protection the same. 
So if we get into like our three back diamond stuff, all right, we can uh, we can keep everything kind of the same now. So if we get into these type settings and now maybe we want to go with post wheel climb, now we can still full gap, full slide to the back side with the offensive line. All right, we can take our first tailback up to replace where the fullback was in the C gap. And now we can take the player that takes the ball fake and he can replace us out in that D gap. Seven-man pro trying to keep the quarterback upright, trying to keep him on his feet because for, for me, philosophically, play-action passes are trying to take shots, stretch the field, get the ball down the field, hit home runs. That's why we use play-action passes. All right, that's just me philosophically. That's what we're trying to do. Now, another thing you may want to do, all right, you may see a little bit more prevalent sometimes, all right, in college or the NFL. The NFL, a lot of times, will also use in their play-action schemes, they'll pull guards. Uh, guys in college will do it too. There are guys in high school that do it. Um, but they will, uh, you know, they'll use a type of system where they can actually block the same run. So they'll pull a guard and make it look like power and build in protection that way. I love the scheme. I love the theory. I don't love it with our kids in high school. So we usually block a gap scheme or some type of half slide. And now we will replace, all right, we will replace backers with running backs. So let's say we wanted to, um, you know, maybe we wanted to clear out the middle with a deep post there, run the dig. All right, so all right, we got the post by two, the dig by one. Maybe on the back side we'll build in, all right, some type of check down or some type of half field concept. It can even be something on the back side that the quarterback can get right away. We can even build in some type of vertical or go versus press. All right, but what we're talking about right now is we're, we're, we're looking more at the pass protection, not the route concept scheme. So some type of half slide scheme where you would half slide and then man the front side. So the front side guard and tackle or the first uncovered lineman would start to turn into protection. Guard and tackle are covered to so their man. Center starts to turn. We turn back. We've got to take care of those three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our backs on backers. So we're going to put our sniffer on the nickel or the Sam. All right. We're going to play action fake either off inside zone, power, gap, whatever you want to Play action fake and put him on a mic. Now what this allows us to do is this allows us to build in the possibility of a check release by that player and then a check release by the tailback. So now we can get five into the route off our play action passes. So we could possibly build a theory that we like. And again, this, doesn't, this isn't the be-all, end-all of pass routes. This is about pass protection. I'm just trying to show you a theory where maybe if you were going post by two, dig by one, and the backers got out or something happened, you could get, all right, a situation where you get a flat route there, a check down there, and now with no backer blitzes other than maybe something off the backside, on the front side, if none of those backers blitz, you now get five out in the route with the, with the feasibility of check downs. Okay, so if you're going to use some type of half slide, the deal would be to get something where you put your backs on linebackers so that if you don't get blitzes, you want to be able to get them out into the route and throw some type of, excuse me, potential check down. All right? For us, we use full slide and we keep the backs into protection. We use seven-man protection because we are trying to throw the ball down the field with vertical shots. And, and for me, again, philosophically within my game plan, if I want to take one shot a quarter, I'm going to build it in as a play action at a two-back or three-back or possibly... Um, one back jet motion and then use the jet motion guy potentially as a blocker on a D gap because I want seven man pro three man route and I want to throw the ball down the field. If I was going to throw the ball a little bit more often and play actions were going to be more prevalent in our passing game and I wanted to maybe move or hold linebackers, I would build in a system where off of our action passes we have slide or even, you know, potentially, you know, you might even get into a into a, a mic protection scheme. If you were seeing more, you know, if you were seeing maybe more one high stuff, you might get into a mic protection scheme where the center ID is the mic, and now these two are going to work back to the mic, all right, and now you're going to put your, your fullback on the Sam there, and then your tailback, whether it be a weak side inside zone fake or even a strong side fake, your tailback's responsible. So this is your tailback now, this is your fullback or your sniffer now, your center or your offensive line, you're IDing the mic, and now you're in some type of pass pro where you've got a mic ID, 
All right, and now you could possibly get to where you can get yourself a check down to the weak side, whether it be an option route, a hook route, a flat route. All right, but if you were using some type of five man, all right, uh, five man check down pro, five down mic ID, half slide. The backs have the backers as the sixth and seventh rushers. The linemen have the down four, and whoever you declare as the mic, you could turn it all the way back to the will, make him the mic. Now the running backs have these two. You could declare the mic in the middle against this 4-3 look, and now the running backs have those two. The backs have the two backers that the center does not declare, and now if they don't blitz, you can get them out into check down routes. All right, so those are two different theories of, of what you can do in play action passing. You can full slide, seven man, you can half slide or mic ID, put your backs on linebackers. It's up to you, do it however you want. There's many different ways to do it, not saying what's right, what's wrong, just trying to tell you what we do, and philosophically for me up here, why I'm trying to do what I do to make it match and accomplish the goals that I'm trying to accomplish. All right, make sure you check out some of our other sponsors, Difference USA, the Ultimate Striking Machine. I have one in our weight room. In the offseason, we're going to be working on striking, elbows in, thumbs up, hand placement, eye placement, coming out of your stance, all the good stuff you need to become a good striking team. Just play football. Uh, the only diagram tool I, I use if I'm going to talk at clinics, do webinars. Anytime I'm going to draw plays, use any type of playbook software or uh, play Diagram tool, I'm going to use just play football. Defensive coordinator one, in-game app that allows you to make critical in-game adjustments based on the live data that's actually happening in the game. And then Dome Hats, all right, which is one of our major sponsors at Play Fast Football. This is my orange part, all right, high school hat with swords up on the back. Dome Hat does a great job. There's a logo on the side. Do a great job, custom built, all right, custom hats, custom built online. Uh, hat generator where you can build your own hats the way you want to build them, change the color of each panel, side panels, different looks, top, bottom, sandwich, all right, button on the top, eyelid stitching. They do a great job customizing hats, great company. Make sure you check out Dome Hats, all right? Remember, as always, guys, click uh, subscribe button so you know when, uh, so you subscribe to the channel. Notifications, turn the bell on so you know every time we do a video, you get a notification. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whether you like it or not. Either way, the interaction helps us know what we need to do better and what content you like. And then as always, comment. Uh, I respond back to every comment that I see come across my channel. All right, as long as it doesn't come across or get hidden in spam somewhere. If it comes across the YouTube channel, all right, I get the notification that there's a comment. I try and respond to just about every comment that's in there because that interaction helps us build a channel. All right, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Seven years in the making now, just starting year seven. I appreciate all that you've done for Play Fast Football. Appreciate you guys watching these videos. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast. I'll see you guys next time.